Ladies and gentlemen, buckle up and hold on to your hats and your pants. We're going for a wild ride right out of a state near you. From economic downturns to weather, job opportunities to cost of living, people from these states have had enough. They are throwing caution to the wind, rolling the dice, doubling down or whatever phrase about taking chances, and trying out a different place to hang their hat. But why, you ask? Finish this sentence. The only certainty in life are death and blank. That's right. The big T word. The pesky little thing that took down Al Capone. Rhymes with saxes. Okay, I'll stop. You got it. Some things change, but as long as America is America, we'll never end our hatred of taxes. While we're on the subject of taxes in America, do you know what sunny, coastal, southeastern state has no personal state income tax? Should we do the whole guess the answer again? No, it's Florida. We're going to be mentioning Florida quite a bit in this list. Maybe it's time Ben Franklin's infamous adage of death and taxes should be updated to a more modern version. The only certainty in life are taxes and moving to Florida. Grab a belt, because these states lost the most weight this past year. Here are the 10 states with the fastest shrinking population. Number 10. New York. New Yorkers are escaping faster than rats fleeing a ship. Speaking of rats, that has to be a reason people are leaving. There is this one rat who dragged pizza down the subway. Sorry, it's a funny video. And people are leaving New York because... Da, 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 taxes! High taxes are the number one reported reason people give when they leave the Empire State. At 10.9%, the individual state income tax is one of the highest in the country. Coupled with ever-increasing costs of living, especially if you live in the Big Apple, people are saying goodbye to New York. Between 2020 and 2022, over 180,000 New Yorkers left their home state for good. The state they are moving to the most? You guessed it, Trebek. Florida. Native New Yorkers are no strangers to the Sunshine State. But nowadays, living in Florida isn't just something your New York grandparents are doing in the winter. The median age of people from New York moving to Florida is getting younger and younger. I guess the apple's gotten a little rotten. Number 9. Illinois Illinois has had nine consecutive years of population decline. I guess people from Illinois are saying Illinois no more to the state. 105,000 people left the state over the last two years for reasons beyond just taxes. But the taxes are bad. Don't get it twisted. Property taxes are some of the highest in the country. Illinoisans also cited a lack of affordable housing as a reason for leaving the land of Lincoln. Add those two factors together and you have a deep dish recipe for disaster. But what ended up being the pepperoni on top of the deep dish pizza? A lack of economic opportunity. And when you think economic opportunity, you think of, wait, Indiana? Most people moving out of Illinois are moving to Indiana? Who's you kidding me? Number eight, Hawaii. Let's take a moment for that one to sink in. Someone must have had too many pineapple drinks. This can't be true. Shockingly, it is. Hawaiians are moving out of paradise at alarming rates. Hawaii has lost 5% of its population in recent years. Before we move on, are we totally sure that the quote-unquote Hawaiians leaving aren't just people who came on vacation 30 years ago and never left? Who hasn't gone on vacation and never come home? Right, Dad? It turns out that it's expensive to live in a tropical paradise. You know, it's a wee bit costly to get products to the middle of the Pacific Ocean. That's why many Hawaiians are flocking to the continental U.S. And 18% of all Hawaiians moving to the mainland are going to California. Poor Hawaiians. Must be really rough to go from one beautiful place to another. Well, goodbye, aloha to you then. Number 7. Don't tell the Hawaiians, but the state most of them are flocking to might be just as bad, if not worse, than where they came from. California rivals Hawaii in cost of living standards and adds a nice little cherry on top. Taxes, baby! 
Didn't we start a revolution hundreds of years ago over our unwillingness to pay taxes? What happened? Californians have the third overall highest tax burden in the country, causing 113,000 people to leave since 2020. And like their fellow former Californians, Elon Musk and Joe Rogan, they are finding tax relief in the Longhorn State, Texas. Do they even like sell avocado toast in Texas? Yeehaw! Number six, Alaska. Alaska may be the last frontier, but for many, it's the first exit. The oil boom that brought many people to Alaska four decades ago has lost its explosiveness. For quite some time now, residents have felt that the state is too reliant on the oil industry, an industry that is experiencing major changes as the nation continues to move away from fossil fuels. Call it a preemptive strike type move. Better to get out now before the well dries up and you're stuck out in the Alaskan cold. Alaska lost 6,000 residents over the last year. And considering how few people live there already, 6,000 might as well be 6 million. A huge portion of those who leave Alaska are between the ages of 18 and 24. They go off to college in the continental US and they never come back home. Losing that demographic group doesn't bode well for the future of Alaska. Cause you know, people that age usually start having babies soon. I guess you could say that Alaska has a grisly sized problem. Number five, Vermont. The Green Mountain State may seem like an idyllic land where maple syrup comes pouring out of the water fountains, yet someone's got to pay for those maple syrup fountains. Unfortunately, that task is falling on the backs of Vermonters. The weight of that burden has forced 2,120 of them to leave. That may not sound like a ton, but like Alaska, it's 4% of Vermont's entire population. With so few people in the state already, Every one of those 2,000 odd Vermonters is meaningful. It may be a lost cause though. With dollar signs in their mind, Vermonters are flocking to places with better economic opportunities, like our resident home wrecker, the state of Florida. Apparently, the place where all of America is moving to. What's this? Breaking news, hot off the press, people. Vermont's lawmakers have just announced that they will be offering a lifetime supply of Vermont's own Ben & Jerry's ice cream to anyone who doesn't move out of the state in 2023. Let's see how you counter that offer, Florida. The state of Vermont and the people of Ben & Jerry's do not endorse any promises in this video. Number four, Louisiana. Mardi Gras, gumbo, emerald gasse. Bam, Louisiana is spicy. Is it too hot to handle, even for locals? Yes, of course, this is a list of shrinking populations. With all that Louisiana has to offer and good weather too, there must be a really good reason. Well, the people of Louisiana spoke. Louisianans reported to the census at a ridiculously high percentage of 52% that their reason for leaving was a lack of employment opportunities. It must be pretty bad because 40,000 Louisianans left. That accounts for a population decline of 0.6%. Louisianans are packing up their beads and heading for Texas. Maybe we spoke too soon. Texas is right on the heels of Florida. I wonder if Mississippi is missing the Mississippians that don't want to miss out on the opportunities outside of Mississippi and go missing from Mississippi forever. Remember when it was the coolest thing to learn how to spell M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I? Anyway, the majority of Mississippians are moving to Tennessee, a great state that doesn't have an income tax. None. The money you earn is yours. What a concept. The promise of a tax-free income drew 10,000 people to leave the state of Mississippi last year. It's not just all about what Tennessee has, though. Mississippi ranks near the very bottom in health and, most notably, education. A fact that is not lost on us as we wonder if Mississippians struggle to spell their own state's name. We kid, Mississippi. We kid. Number 2. Mountain Mama, West Virginia. Over the last decade, the mountain state has found itself with a mountain-sized problem. From 2010 to 2020, West Virginia lost a whopping 3.2% of its whole population two years into the 20s and that trend doesn't appear to be slowing down. 
Most of the states on our list are to blame, with taxes being the main reason people want to leave. Yet, West Virginia feels more like a victim of circumstance. The Mountain State's main source of economic viability, coal, has declined dramatically over the last decade. West Virginia's population has dipped so much that the state lost a seat in Congress during the 2022 midterm elections. The state that they are flocking to? Oh, wait, not Florida. It's Ohio? Yeesh. No offense, Ohio, but West Virginia to Ohio feels like a lateral move. With so much natural beauty, it's literally called the Mountain State, there is still plenty of hope for West Virginia to bounce back. Number 1. New Jersey All you have to do is watch one episode of the Jersey Shore to understand why people are leaving the Garden State. No offense, Snooky. Could it be that the cast of the Jersey Shore and many people on the Jersey Shore drink themselves to a stupor because of the heavy tax burden? It has to be a part of it, right? 27,000 people told New Jersey to kick rocks in 2022. Obviously, all folks from New Jersey are not like the cast of The Shore. However, doesn't it make a little too much sense that Florida is the most common final destination for New Jerseyans, particularly a place like Miami? A loud place where flashy clothes, partying, and great tans reign supreme? Adios, New Jersey. Hello, Miami. To borrow from the hilariously neurotic character George Costanza, we say that for these 10 states, quote-unquote, shrinkage is real.